So let's go ahead and start at the start screen here in your Windows 8 application. And let's go ahead and search for Skype itself so that we can uh, install it. Remember, we can use the search charm for everything inside of Windows 8. So let's go ahead and just type in Skype here. And uh, then go down and select the store. Select the store here. We see uh, Skype come up to our left-hand side. We single-click on that and the Skype application will come up. Simply select Install. <clears throat> You'll see the buttons rolling on the top of the screen and it installing the Skype service. So go ahead and click on it once it's been installed and Skype will open up on your desktop. You need to just simply select some of the defaults that come up. Go ahead and allow for your webcam to be used in your microphone and allow it to run in the background so that you receive notifications when people have called you or sent you a text message using Skype. Now the simplest thing to get started is to start with the echo sound test. Go ahead and select that echo sound test and that will take you into a uh, ability to go ahead and call somebody but not really call somebody, it's just a test. You hit call and it will ring out to the echo sound test. At this point you are able to go ahead and um, uh, talk to it, make sure it hears your voice, and listen back to it. It's pretty simple. Once that's been done, you're in good shape. Now you can do a right click or pull down on the top and select home there to get back to your home screen. Uh, this is kind of the basic. Let's go ahead and go back out to the... Um, Go, uh, let's look at the options first before we go out here. Here we can select who we want. You can see the options there. And then you have uh, more options here. Redo the microphone, reset. Usually just leave these on default settings. And uh, when incoming calls come, just use that as the default, which is start automatically. But you can go down and kind of play with these and look at them um, and see which ones you want to set. Um, <clears throat> and so we can go ahead and do that. You can also accept calls automatically. You can also, for 911, I don't ever play with those settings at all. And then um, you can go ahead and just return to the desktop and let's see where that application is loaded. There you see it at the end, Skype. Now remember, we can pull down on that and we can drag that application over perhaps to the beginning menu there. We'll just plop it in there. And then of course remember we can do a right click on it or drag down with our finger on it and go down and say smaller and actually make the Skype icon a little bit smaller. Well that's about it for getting to know and use and install Skype on Windows 8.